everyone. Here are some quick tips on using a Google image search and using their advanced search options to find some uh, cool images and merchandise and fashion and so forth for Polyvore and for making some awesome Polyvore creations. So it's pretty nice, of course, that Google has a Google image search and a way that you can use that is it's going to be easier if you have a Google account and that you're logged into your Google account. Right now I'm using Chrome as my browser because um, Chrome is Google's browser. So I'm here on Google's homepage and if you go up to the right top corner here you see that it says images and if you click on images what that does is it brings you to Google Images. So you could type in a keyword, we'll type in Christmas, and you do a search and it brings up different Christmas images. Now you can narrow this search down, which is really cool. And the way that you can do that is by going up here to the gear, which says options again on the right hand side of your toolbar and you click on that and you left click on that and then you just go down here and you select advanced search and so it gives you several different options that you can use to narrow your search down so I have my tag word here Christmas we could exclude other words if we wanted to or we could put in exact phrases as well too you can put in your image size or the aspect ratio that you want. So here it has like tall, square, wide, panoramic. Um, square, I know that many times square images work very nicely in sets. So you might want to search by square image. You can also search by color. You can do that by selecting any color, full color. You could do black and white. We're going to look at transparent here in a second. And you can also do this option here where you click on this color. And then if you click on the color square, it gives you a small palette of colors that you could search using. So again, this is a really cool option. So for example, let's say that we wanted to do a teal Christmas. We could go ahead and select teal. And then you can also do type of image. So you could do faces could do photos, clip art, line drawings, and animated. Safe search is also nice, so you can filter out explicit results. So I'm going to do that. And then you can also filter by license as well, too. So you could, you know, use free to use or share. And then there's some other license options that there are there. So we selected teal, and we're going to um, use Christmas, again, as our search word. And then you just click on advanced search. So, voila, gorgeous teal Christmas pictures. All kinds that you can search from. Okay, so another cool thing that you can do is you can go back up here to, and you can just click on here the color. We can go down and select transparent. So then what you get is Christmas images that have transparent background. Again, this is really helpful for Polyvore when we're creating our sets. And so you see here that there's loads and loads of images to search through. Okay, now another cool thing that you can do, and I have already found a picture here. I was searching on innocent is the keyword that I was using. Searching for some cute pictures that I might like to make a set with. And I found this picture that I really love here of this little girl eating an apple. Now, a cool thing is, say you find a really cool image like this. And this, this blog site doesn't have any more of those images that I like. But I want to find some more images like this. What you can do is right click on the image 
and then select copy image URL. So the URL is going to be the address for that image. Then go over and open up a new Google home page. Go back up to images, click on images in the top right, and it opens up the Google image home page. What you need to do is go to the address bar here and just click on the camera icon, search by image. And it gives you two options. You can upload an image or you can paste an image URL. Now you remember we just we just copied that image URL of that little girl eating the apple that we really liked. What happens is now we're going to paste that image URL into the address bar here and then just go ahead and click search by image. And this is incredible. It pulls up visually similar images to the one that we just found. So let me go back here. You just go down here and you click here where it says visually similar images. We click on that and look at this. Lots and lots of images that are very similar to the one that we just found. Now the cool thing would be say, okay, so I found that image. See, there's the girl again with the apple. Um, and then I found all these images that are similar to it. Now I want to narrow it down even more. So then you could actually go up, click on color, and we could pick, I don't know, let's do yellow and see what happens. So there it brings up a couple of images. So there's a way that you can narrow it down even more. Go back to pink, I think it'll bring up more. Or you can clear it and just click clear. And then we don't have any any colors selected, but we have, so we don't have that transparent background anymore. So now this is bringing up any image in any color that's similar to the girl eating the apple. Loads of options again here. If we went back up here, clicked on, excuse me, clicked on search tools again, it brings up the search tools again. Go up here and you click on um, transparent, then it's going to bring us up transparent images. So you can really see how this can help you to really narrow down your searches and be able to find different images that are similar to each other and similar colors, even similar types of backgrounds and so forth. This would be really cool to do black and white and see what happens. Okay, wow, there's lots of that one image. So you see there's some pretty cool images here. Yeah. So I hope this was helpful. With Google Image, you just need to experiment with it. And you will be surprised at all the cool things that you can find. Oh, let me give you another tip. You can also, let's do dresses. You can search by dresses, and we've got black and white selected. Let's look at pink dresses. There you go. So that brings up pink dresses. But another cool thing is, lots of times we want fashion items that have the background removed. So go ahead and select transparent. And so then you're going to find dresses that have the background removed. So again, this is really cool. The same thing if you find something that you really like, you could always open that up. You can right click on it, copy image URL, go open up your Google page, go up to images, brings you to Google images, Click on the camera, paste that URL, in, that URL in there, and then do search by image, and then go down to visually similar images. And there you have a Google search with transparent dresses that are similar to the blue dress that you found that you really like, 
in the same color blue. And yeah, that is a beautiful dress there. It's on Deviant Art, so I don't know if we'll be able to flip it. But we could always try. I hope this quick tutorial was helpful. And if you have any suggestions for other tips, tricks, tutorials, or how-tos that you would like to see for Polyvore, just send me a private message on Polyvore. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing your gorgeous creation.